Hi, most mornings I feel good about getting up and heading off to work. You know why? Because I'm an apprentice for the International Association of Heat and Frost Insulators and Allied Workers. But if that sounds like a lot of words to you, insulators works just fine. The great thing about being an apprentice is we earn while we learn. As an apprentice with the insulators, you get to take interesting classes and they count for college credit. But you don't go to school for four years, then come out with no job and a huge student loans to pay off. No, with the insulators you go to work right away and you have veteran journeymen on the job site to help you learn the trade. And you earn money from the start. I'm not talking about pocket change. You earn a good living. That's the good thing about being in a union, a fair wage for a good day's work. You've probably heard rumors about unions, but I can tell you from experience, this union is the best thing that's ever happened to me. In a union, you have a voice and a vote, and we have a great working relationship with our employers. Maybe you should take a good look at how unions are today. Hey, don't just take our word for it. Hey, Joe Forrest, can I get a word with you guys for a second? How many years have you been apprentices? I've been apprentice for three years. Four years. How do you like being an apprentice? I like uh, going different places, meeting different people, uh, the experience of actually getting to work with my hands. So, is this a long-term or short-term career? This is a great um, career. It's just not a job. It's solid, good, organized union. I was bouncing around from job to job uh, before I joined the apprenticeship program, and now I have a career. Uh, a great opportunity, great benefits, uh, retirement. I can't believe that I get to do something that I love that actually pays my mortgage. And what about the salamander? Well, we do have a kicking mascot. <laughs> Time to start. Well, thank you guys. See you around in class. Right. Okay. Come on in. We'll show you around. Hey guys. How's it going? So, what kind of work does an insulator do? Think about it. Hospitals, schools, football stadiums, Disney World, even NASA and the White House all need insulation. We work on just about every major construction project in the United States and Canada. And then there are the tough jobs, from insulating a nuclear power plant to the space shuttle or a laboratory clean room. All these jobs call for a special kind of skill, skill you can't get overnight. But our veteran journeymen can handle it. And these same journeymen teach us apprentices when we're out on a job. Exactly how good do our apprentices get? Each year, some of us face off in regional competitions across North America. And the winners of those competitions go on to make a run for the ultimate prize, being named the number one insulator apprentice in North America. It all happens at our MAC competition. Check it out. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2008 Master Apprentice Competition. We say this reverently, you are the best of the best. What you're shooting for is a name on the cup. Ready, set, go. When the tension hits you, it's just like you have to take a step back and, you know, calm yourself down. I want to win and uh, I want to bring the big cup back to Canada just like Lord Stanley. <laughs> As a judge, what I'm looking at on a station like this is uh, piping coming down around this way, forming a long radius 90, and how tight the insulation is actually put on, making sure there's no cracks. Pipe bends like this require mathematical skills where you need to determine your heel measurements, your throat measurements, the proper number of pieces to do each one of these segments. Tradition says the winner must kiss the cup. So I'd like to announce that the 2008 Master Apprentice Competition winner is Mark Gabrion from Local 17 Chicago. Yeah. 
As you can see, you get a lot of chances to grow. Take a look at the things you can do. When I was an apprentice, I worked on one of the local steam generating uh, power plants and uh, worked insulating 1,700 degree pipe with insulation that weighed almost as much as I did at the time. We actually worked in the attic of the White House, uh, taking some cork off the roof. You're not sitting behind a desk pushing papers, you're out in the open. There's no end to where you can go as an insulator. I started as an apprentice in a powerhouse. When I got there, it was like being in the movies. Sparks flying everywhere, welding, it was really cool. Another day as an apprentice, and man, do I love my job. Me too, I love working with my hands. I mean, who wants to be in an office shuffling papers all day? How about you guys, Jason, Oscar, Marciella? We haven't heard from you today. What do you like about being an apprentice? A lot of my friends have driving jobs. Me, I get to work with my hands, I get to move around, and I feel very lucky. What about you, Oscar? How do you feel when you drive by a school or a hospital and your children see that you built it? Oh, well, I feel great because I tell my, my kids, my, my family, oh, I, I made this job. You can feel uh, safe in here because my company or me, we made this. It looks like it's time for drafting class. Who's in drafting class? Oh man, I gotta go. Please. All right. See you guys. All right. Have Bye a good guys. one, everyone. Thank you. See ya. Take care. Not only do I like the work I do, and the pay, but the benefits aren't too shabby either. Healthcare, pension. And believe me, with just one night in the hospital costing more than seven grand, and an appendicitis something like 48,000, you've gotta have good healthcare. And you get that in the Insulators Union because you have a say in the matter. You also have a say when it comes to your future. In a few years, I plan on becoming a journeyman. But there's another road I can take. A lot of apprentices go on to become officers in their local. They work to make our union stronger, better. Some even move on to their own companies, and they're earning top dollar, too. I started approximately 22 years ago in the uh, apprenticeship school for the asbestos workers, and uh, now I've been able to work my way through the ranks and own my own business. I started uh, as an apprentice. Now today I'm president of uh, one of the two companies which we own. I didn't think that I would ever become a business manager. Uh, my interests weren't there but that union bug kind of bit me and I ran with it from there. And uh, what we're trying to build here is a person that uh, not only going to be able to do the job properly but also a person who has ambition to succeed in their life. It's not just a job, it's a career. A career where you'll like what you do, make good money, and get great benefits. Join the insulators and be all you can be. Uh, <laughs> that's the U.S. Army. Join the insulators and be a soldier of the salamander. We're the insulators, and we're building two great countries. Come be a part of a winning team.